Hello and welcome to our short yoga sequence. My name is Becky Lambert and I'm a health educator with Maine General's Prevention and Healthy Living. I will be cueing Bailey through a hip opening sequence. My name is Bailey Debbie and I'm also a health educator at Maine General Prevention and Healthy Living. And we are going to start with our legs out in front of us, drawing the toes towards the body, sitting up nice and tall, and taking a couple of deep breaths. And then on your next inhale, draw the right knee up, bending at the knee and drawing it over, wrapping the left arm around the knee, and taking the right hand behind you, maybe coming up on the fingertips so that you can really lift the chest up nice and high. And as you take an inhale, come back to center and exhale, let the right knee drop down a little bit, keeping the ankle right on the thigh and bringing the hands behind you. Start to draw the left knee up, bending. Left foot comes right down on the mat. And you can make this a deeper stretch by bringing the foot in closer to you, or you can keep it a little bit easier stretch by having distance between the heel and your body. Take one more inhale and exhale. And then slowly straightening the left leg and bringing both legs out in front. Take an inhale, draw it nice and tall again. And then as you exhale, bending the opposite knee and bringing it over. Wrap the right arm right around the knee. And taking an inhale, drawing up through the crown of the head. As you exhale, see if maybe you can twist a little deeper. Inhale, coming back to center. As you exhale, allow the left knee to drop just a little bit, keeping the ankle right on the thigh. Drawing the right toes towards you, really activating that foot. And drawing the heel a little closer to your body. Getting a little deeper stretch, but still lifting the chest up nice and tall, keeping the spine long. Straightening the right leg and bringing both legs out in front. Again, one more time drawing the toes towards you and drawing up through the crown of the head. And then bringing the legs into easy seated. And then come right onto hands and knees. From here, making a few big circles with the whole body, sitting way back and coming around. Really feeling motion in the knees, hips, wrists. You've done it a couple times one way, switch and reverse the circle. And coming back to center, draw the knees out nice and wide bringing the big toes together, and go ahead and sit back, draw the arms out long, coming into your child's pose. Inhale, coming up to all fours, lining the knees back up under the hips, and when you're ready, tuck the toes under and push back to your down dog. Take a moment here to just allow the head to feel heavy, maybe swivel the head from side to side, let go of any tension. Inhaling the right leg up and drawing it all the way through for a lunge, dropping the back knee down. And then when you're ready, go ahead and leave the right hand right on the mat. Take one more breath, and then when you're ready, draw the right arm up to the sky, reaching up nice and high. Think about how much your chest can open up here. One more inhale. As you exhale, release it down to the mat, and 
draw the hips back, straightening the front leg, drawing the toes towards the face, finding a nice deep stretch here, and as you inhale, bring a bend back into the knee, and bring your right hand to the inside of your leg, coming into lizard pose. You can stay right up on the hands or you can come down onto the elbows for a deeper stretch. You can also allow the right knee to drop out a little bit. Coming back up on the hands and bringing your hands on either side of the front foot. Take a step back and find your down dog. Take a couple of breaths here, maybe walk the knees out a little bit. And then switching to the other side, inhale the left leg up, draw it all the way through for a lunge, releasing the back knee down. Nice. Taking an inhale and exhale. And then keeping your right hand on the mat, inhale the left arm up to the sky, opening the chest up. Still keeping the spine long. One more inhale. As you exhale, bring the left hand down to the outside of the foot. Draw the hips back, straightening the front leg. Draw the toes towards the face. Still keeping the spine nice and long, lifting up through the chest. Taking an inhale, bring a bend back into the front knee. And draw the left arm to the inside of the foot, coming into lizard on the other side. You can stay up on the hands or you can come down onto the elbows. Feel free to allow the left knee to drop out to the side a little bit. Coming back up onto the hands and bringing the hands to either side of the front foot, stepping back and coming into your down dog. Taking one nice big inhale and exhale here. And then dropping the knees down to the mat, spread them nice and wide, bringing big toes together. And push back into a child's pose, stretching the arms out long. Taking a few more deep breaths. Thank you for joining us today for our hip opening series.